Hello, uh, John here again, and I've always heard that the right tools can make you about any job easier. Uh, and I've come up with uh, two or three things here uh, this bee season uh, that have really improved working with my hives. So I thought I'd share them with you. Uh, first of all, I uh, built a stand for the combs. That way you can set the top bars on them. I'll let you look at it. Uh, secondly, I talk a little bit about uh, how I do the bars uh, and uh, keep them in order. And the third thing is I had a couple uh, specialty tools built which have greatly improved uh, the way I work with the hives. Uh, and you'll get to see them and a, and a good cousin of mine uh, built them for me. So uh, I think that you'll enjoy watching it. It also may help you in the future if you have a top bar hive. Uh, so please enjoy and uh, God bless. I built uh, this little stand. I've seen it on YouTube, some similar designs, and I always kind of put my own spin on it depending on what kind of materials I have. Uh, but I was able to uh, make this little collapsible stand. And uh, since my wife ain't with me, it's a whole lot easier to set a couple bars out and get it opened up enough that you can get the tools in there to to work around a little easier so it's really been a been a handy little tool like I say basically when I'm done with it, I can fold it up put it in my uh, tray here with my beetle stuff bee stuff and uh, Here's a nice little comb of honey they have already. It's uh, pretty well all sealed. All right, I'm over here at the other side and uh, I've got just a few bars here. And these little fellows are packed solid with honey. Uh, they are really pretty heavy. I've got uh, Probably about five or six bars that are full of honey. This one here probably weighs over five pounds. It's, it feels pretty heavy. Hive's doing good. Just we need just need a queen to come back. And when she does, maybe she will. Be ready to start laying. I like to take a pencil. Uh, you've noticed this here, but I number all my bars, so I put them back in the correct order. Uh, sometimes the cone could be waving a little bit, so you you want it to the bees to be able to have the same distance as they build their cone. So it's a good idea to always try to put the uh, bars back in as you pull them out. So I always uh, I number them, and then I also on this edge here. Uh, I put a bevel, and that way I always put the bevel side towards me, and it also helps the lid close. So that's another reason just to make sure I keep all the bars in order and, and not switch uh, opposite directions, I guess I should say. One other thing I want to show you real quick. Uh, cousin of mine, he's into blacksmithing, and he made me a couple little new, new tools I was coming up with. I've seen something similar online but uh, with this tool here what you can do is if you've got if the comb is uh, stuck to the bottom you can run this one here right along the bottom and cut the cone off the bottom it's also very good uh, if you have hive beetles I found uh, I've only seen a couple today but you can easily get down in there and smash them and maybe drag stuff out of the uh, out of the hive Got a couple ants here that found the sweetness pretty quick. Didn't see any ants inside. This is another tool we made, he made with me, for me. Uh, and what I use it for is, like I've told you many times, uh, when uh, the bees hype, when the honey gets full, they don't do it quite as bad on the brood. It's a little bit, maybe at the top, but when they have a honey a comb that's full like this, 
they like to put a bridge comb over to the to the panel there and what I can do with this then is I just stick it inside the hive and then run it up along the edge here on then I can flip it around and go to this side also and uh, pull it right up it works really good I've sharpened it to, somewhat it's not razor sharp like a knife but it's able to uh, easily cut the comb there pull it out uh, and it makes it a whole lot easier, easier lifting these comb up and also I used a knife before and I was afraid I was getting in and smashing the bees uh, I didn't want to you know, take a chance of harming them this is, has a lot smaller footprint so I'm able to easily gently pull it up it's heavy duty enough that it's easy to work with uh, it made it out of stainless steel so hopefully it'll last a long time two very good tools uh, that are needed with the top bar hives plus of course you can never go wrong with the old beehive tool here to lift and separate the the bars so these are working good first time I've used them very uh, proud of that uh, I'm gonna put everything back together here uh, once again I, I really thank you for watching